Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Video 320. I'm Nate Moore. If you're watching these videos as I'm releasing them at moresolutionsinc.com, this is the last video I'm going to release for 2012. We're going to take a two-week break for the holidays, come back again with more pivot table fun in 2013. But before we do that, I want to pause for two things. First, these videos have been watched well over a quarter of a million times now. And I want to pause to say thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spreading the word and telling folks about them. I appreciate it, uh, everybody who's watching, and for everybody who's telling other people to watch. Hope they're helpful for you. Second thing I want to say is, as it comes to the end of the year, I live in Utah in America. There are folks that are watching these all over the world. But in our home, we, um, we're a Mormon family. We celebrate Christmas. So from our family to yours, best wishes for a Merry Christmas. Best wishes for whatever other holiday you may be celebrating in your part of the world. Thanks for watching. What I want to do today is play some more with pivot table options. And if this one hasn't come back to bite you yet, it probably will. Uh, this is kind of a quirk of pivot tables, and you need to understand formatting and the way Excel handles formatting and what you can do about it. I'm not going to spend any time at all on these top two. If you want to change what happens when an error value or an empty cell shows up in your pivot table, you can put something there. What I want to focus on is auto fit column widths on update and preserve self formatting on update. Let's leave them the way they are for now and show you what happens. When I come over to my de default data tab over here and let's do replace in there, yeah, Medicare with this is a very long Medicare description to prove a point. If I replace every one of my Medicare, 1199 of my Medicare cells there, and come over to here, now you're all familiar that nothing's going to change until I hit options and hit refresh, because you watched that Excel video a couple of videos ago. Watch what happens when I hit refresh. By default, because options are set to auto fit column widths, this very long description auto fits and now it's huge across the column. And if I had this very carefully calibrated, and I had this pivot table just the way I wanted to make it fit on one page, this is going to screw me up to no end. And I'm going to be mad at pivot tables. They said, no, 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 there's a way to get around that. What you can do from options is say no don't auto fit column that's an update I don't care if I get a really big column don't auto fit you know make it so it doesn't fit I don't care don't screw up all my formatting and my fit on one page and all that good stuff that I spent all that time creating the other thing that might happen when you update a pivot table is this let's assume let's make we'll do red and green because it's Christmas time here in America we're gonna make this a little bit bigger 16 that's fine then we'll take this one up to 16 yeah, I got some kind of green color there. So let's assume now that I've got colors and formatting. I've got, you know, the the way this pivot table is working is exactly the way I want it. Now I go to update my data, and uh, let me let's make sure that this is set right. So we're not going to auto fit, but we are, and let's not preserve self formatting. So we're not going to preserve the formatting that we spent all that time on. Well, we didn't spend much time, but let's assume you did a whole bunch. And we're not going to auto fit column widths on update. So, oh, no, I got to go back and do it. Hang on. Yeah, that 16 is good enough. And now 2010 gets to be red. Okay, now that I'm there, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to reimbursement. And we're going to find and select and replace. Cut that. Delete that. Paste that here. Put Medicare back. Replace all, put the 1199 back the way they were, close, and when we come over to the pivot table, now we're going to come over here and refresh, and we're going to be frustrated with the, the 2009 and the 2010 formatting went away, and the reason it went away is because we're not preserving self-formatting on update. So I wanted to spend a whole video on that to kind of walk through an example and show you a lot of times you may, if you spend time on formatting, you may not want to auto-fit column widths on update. You may not want to have the pivot table automatically make these columns really wide as you add really wide data. So if you have notes fields or some free text in there that could get really long, you may not want that. You almost always, I think, want to preserve self-formatting on an update. Keep that pivot table exactly the way I had it. Just give me new data is really what we want to do. Well, that's it for this Excel video, for Excel video 320 and for uh, the year 2012. I look forward to seeing you in 2013. We're going to start back where we left off in this options 
There's totals and filter. There's a bunch of other things that we can do in here. Some handy tricks, and we'll start that when I see it at the start of the new year. Thanks again for watching.